through countless interviews, a webcast, and national tour, Charlie Sheen seemed to provide most of the Western world with a front row seat to his epic meltdown this spring. But that was his version. Tonight we hear from a woman who was really in the room, a farm girl and pre-med student turned porn star and goddess of the Sheen estate. After leaving the scorned sitcom star, she decided to tell her version of events and does just that with ABC's Dan Harris. <laughs> she was one of the star players in Charlie Sheen's alternate universe, otherwise known as the Sober Valley Lodge. These are my girlfriends. These are the women that I love that, um, that have that have completed the, uh, the three parts of my heart. And now Brie Olson is lifting the curtain for the first time, revealing this situation to be even stranger than we already thought. So how did a farm girl from Indiana end up in the middle of this bizarre love triangle? Well, first, it helps to be a believer in polygamy. What do you find attractive about polygamy? I just think that it's a more natural way of life, and I believe that as we were evolutionizing, that there were more, you know, men that were in control of several women. Olsen's road to meeting Charlie Sheen began when she was a 19-year-old pre-med student named Rachel Oberlin, who one day decided to do an online search for porn jobs. What got you interested in the adult movie business? It's something I'd always been interested in. I've always been very insatiable sexually. Five years later, she was one of the most popular and highly paid women in porn. Late last year, a friend introduced her to Sheen, who had a long-running interest in adult film stars. What did you like about him? He made me laugh like just every other thing he said. He doesn't have a regular how's the weather conversation, you know? She says she was aware of reports of his violence, allegedly holding up a knife to his ex-wife Brooke Mueller and trashing a hotel room with another porn star in it. But she says she figured it was all tabloid misrepresentation. Have you ever seen him behave in a violent way? No, I've never seen Charlie behave in violent in any situation. She also swears up and down that she's never seen Sheen do drugs, even when she moved into his home in February. What did surprise her then, she says, was finding another woman there, Natalie Kenley, a model who once graced the cover of a marijuana magazine. So you moved in, and as you're moving in, you find out that there's another woman living there too? On the ride over there, his assistant Rick says, did Charlie tell you about Natty? And I was like, who? And he was like, oh. And then I get to the house and there she is standing in the kitchen. And she did not look too happy to see me there with my bags. Was it a tense environment then in the home? At times, you could cut the air with a knife sometimes. I felt like I couldn't show Charlie the affection and the love that I wanted to show him because of how she would react. It's, it's unconventional and it seems crazy to everybody else, but for us, I mean, it works well. She said on television that everything was great. Yeah, well, I don't know what to tell you. I think she was trying to convince herself that it was great, but she was crying like every day. She was really upset about it. One week after Olsen moved in, the war between Sheen and the creator of Two and a Half Men began. And during all of those interviews, with all that talk of tiger blood, warlock brain, and by winning... I am on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. Olsen and Natty watched smilingly from the couch. A lot of people saw those interviews that he did and thought, this guy appears to be psychologically unbalanced. I don't know. Oh, now it's a polygamy story. It's polygamy story. I mean, come on. He was just cracking so many jokes. He was just relaxed and trying to have fun, and and people that don't know him, they just don't get it. But even during those incomprehensible we webcasts? Where the worms of freedom have all gone insane, I pluck them or suck them from the heart of my brain. Maybe that was his way of venting, or getting stress out, stress relief, because I was with him almost every time of the day, and he seemed perfectly kosher and fine to me. <laughs> she says the memory that stings the most from that period was the uproar over the goddesses caring for Sheen's two young sons. That is so absurd that, oh, a porn star is not capable of being around children just because I've chosen to do what everyone else does in this whole entire world on camera does not make me uneligible to be around children. <laughs> Olsen insists Sheen was a great father. 
and was devastated on that night when the children were finally taken away. The boys are currently in the custody of their mother, Sheen's ex-wife, Brooke Mueller, though Mueller has admitted to having drug problems of her own. Brie Olson stayed with Charlie Sheen through the beginning of his disastrous tour, but then she says the pressures of the road and the meddling of Natty led her to leave. These days, she's on the cover of the most recent Playboy magazine, but even though she's single now, you will not catch her saying anything negative about Charlie Sheen. You're pretty fiercely protective of him. I always will be. I see, like, little Charlie in him, you know? Like, I see, like, little boy Charlie that I just want to protect from, like, the world that's after him. She denies that her relentless positivity about Sheen has anything to do with her desire for his help, in making her next big career transition. She wants to cross over into mainstream acting. And I'm just gonna put it out there and say right now, I think that I'm a damn good actress and I think that I could be in blockbuster hits. I think that I could be a main character on a series role. She's gonna give it a year, she says, and if she fails, she plans to get married to just one man and have children. For Nightline, this is Dan Harris in New York City.